Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 12 in the NFL. We're talking right now with uh, Kyle Hunter from huntersportspicks.com. Kyle Hunter has uh, previewed three NFL games so, so far this year. Clean sweep of those three games, 3-0. Three and, oh, and this week he's chosen uh, Miami-Denver to cover. Interesting that he chose that game. Kyle Hunter, thanks for being back with us. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I've done well on the videos. Also done well on my premium plays. 10-1 and one in my last 11 in the NFL. Uh, things are going really well right now. I also have a special offer going on. College basketball just started up. That's been my best sport in the past. $1,000 betters are up $97,000 since 2010. I have a seven days for $7 special offer. You can go to my website at huntersportspicks.com and see the link for that. Miami and Denver is the game you chose this week, and uh, I'll see what you're gonna, what side you're going to take here to try to go 4-0 uh, in the NFL with our picks, because this is a tricky one, right? Denver is, of course, off of the uh, big shocking loss to the Rams, and we've seen this before. We know that Manning off a of loss is usually a good bet the next game, so here Denver's at home. My to seven, but Miami, you know, they're, they have one of the best defenses statistically in the NFL. They're also a team that the Sharps have uh, supposedly been betting on in a, in previous weeks. They're also off of a, of, a, of a long week. They're off of a Thursday night game. So they're off of extended rest. They're also beating their spreads, four and one against spread in their last five. And Denver's having some pretty key injuries on offense. So uh, there's sort of a lot that's looking, there's a lot of signs to my eye that are pointing against Denver. The only major one that's pointing in their favor is Peyton Manning off a loss. Uh, so right now it's minus seven. And even the total's a little bit tricky. Right now it's 48 and a half or 49. And that's down a bit from 50. Miami five straight straight unders and Denver went under in their last game after six straight overs. So, uh, you know, what do you like here, Kyle Hunter? Usually I'm not a guy that likes laying points in the NFL very mm -hmm. often, especially laying a touchdown, but I think this is a really good spot for Denver. Okay. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have liked Denver if they hadn't lost last week, mm -hmm. but that loss last week really serves as fuel to the fire in this one. Denver's eight and zero against the spread in their last eight following a straight up loss. Uh, at seven points, I feel like Denver has quite a bit of value here. Mm -hmm. Miami's a team that I feel like has overachieved a little bit this year. They have some decent talent, but certainly not like Denver does. And Peyton Manning's made um, pretty good defenses look really bad a lot in the past at Denver. So I'm not going to be surprised if that Miami defense looks a lot worse than they have recently. Miami also wasn't terribly impressive in that last win against Buffalo. Even though they got away with a win, weren't very impressive. Denver's a much different team. Buffalo couldn't score enough points. I think with Peyton Manning at the helm coming off a loss, Denver's going to be really well prepared here. The uh, the injuries on offense, like uh, you know Julius Thomas is their uh, you know their top tight end. He's banged up. He's uh, day to day is what I'm reading. Uh, so it's not clear if he's going to play. The the injuries on offense don't concern you for Denver. They concern me a little bit, but mm -hmm. Peyton Manning has shown in the past that whoever steps right, in, right, uh, right, right. he can get the ball to him, and and they look a lot better than than they have on other teams. So right. with Peyton Manning at quarterback. Um, you know, he really spreads it around well. Denver still has some pretty good weapons, too, on the outside. So right. um, a lot more weapons for Denver than Miami, in my opinion. I also don't trust Miami's offense to put up enough points to stay close here. All right. Awesome analysis. Kyle Hunter from huntersportspicks.com. Like in Denver, minus seven against Miami for a bounce back. Thanks so much, Kyle. Talk to you again next week. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.